it's generally what you're dealing with. Feet behind you and pitching forward. So just controlling your shoulders, staying over your hips. Same thing we've always done, I'm just telling you in a different manner. Good. Now, yeah. And then just see, you know, just switch out each range. Uh, we'll see. Wait. Okay, he went to put shoulders up. Right. Toes up. So we know that a little more difficult is going to hit the ground. Great. So you're working on a rectangle right now. So let's think of a rectangle. Good. You are in go mode, so that's great. Don't leave the inside of the turn. Keep your left shoulder over your left hip. Now don't rear back. Good. Stay in go mode. So last time we worked on keeping your seat light. Great. Good. Don't lean inside. There you go. It was very little lean. It's just, like I say, keeping those shoulders right there. Go ahead and bump, bump with the cue of the leg. Moving forward to the trot. Kept your shoulders good at that time. There. A lot of bend to your knee. Toes up. Good. Straight line. Now keep thinking, John, about your rectangle in your mind, okay? Don't let your seat. There. Good shoulders up. Just don't let your seat drill into him. And close your fingers of your right hand and bump, bump, and let's move him forward to the trot again. Left toe up, turn it out maybe slightly and engage the leg. There, behind the girth, behind the girth. That's it. That's the one time we're there. Did you feel that immediate reaction? Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. Yes. When you give a cue as that. Good. Sounds like I, uh, Blue is eating pecans. Yeah. Good. Go ahead. Lift right there. Remember that lifting we talked about, the right rein? But get more forward when you lift. More up the middle of his neck. You know where the B is? Yeah, lift in that area. Okay, go ahead and bump, bump, lift in the V area. V. Go to the V. Find the V, John. Slide your hand to it on the rein. That's it. Now lift. Great. Up. Up. Yeah, now go ahead. Move him forward. Good. You have really correct posture. You're doing real well. Go ahead. Great. There you go. Good. Now you go mode. Don't roll your back too much. Good. Think about those shoulders. You're working a rectangle, and just keeping your shoulders over your hips, engage your leg. Good. Keep that rhythm from the front of the hip to the back of the hip. Lift more. Okay, you're coming to your hip, Yeah. so that's going to move his hips out and away a little bit more. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and kind of just go up, that le that right hand. Go just from right here in that V, go up. Good. Go ahead. You want him to go the other sure. way? Sure. The, yeah, go left. Yeah, we ought to give him a break with that club foot. Keep the rhythm. Hey, what happened with the bird? He's still alive. Oh, good. Okay. Great. Now, this... Soften your seat a little, lift a little. Yeah, don't let it drill into him. That's gonna. You just think about keeping his rib cage shuffle. Good. Eyes up. Good. I'll close the right fingers on the ring. Let's go bump, bump. 
Give the cue, move the leg. Good, toes up now. Great. Shoulders up, left shoulder namely. Think about this turn right here. This little curve, keep your left shoulder up. Perfect, straight line, go ahead. Good. Okay, think about your rectangle. Yeah, you caught yourself. Excellent. Hey, I was just getting ready to go to that. I was just getting ready to say, okay, what did I say last time? We talked about your posture. Is that how I said it, take your slouch out? You and I talking, you kind of brought it around in a way that you could get it. Exactly, you caught yourself in bull mode. Sit up straight. Yeah, you gotta sit up straight. Go ahead. Looking good. Bump, bump, right behind the girth. There it is. Now you actually feel the touch. You got quite a response. Good. Keeping them shoulders up. Good, John. Don't rear back, buddy. Toes up. Beautiful. There was a low. Rhythm. Rhythm. Posture up. Sit up straight. Keep that hip motion, but sit up straight. Hey, and remember that left hand now? Come above his neck with the left hand. Come above it when you're trying to make the corner. Above it. Above it. There. Remember coming back towards you. That was excellent. You were loping. That's going to restrict the forward motion, okay? If you come back to your hip. You staying in place, okay? Yep, I think so. Take a break and let him stand in the shade for a little bit. Just keep your shoulders up right, can't you? I'm doing that and seeing, I'm just saying it to get rhythmic, okay? That's what I was trying to teach Barry a moment ago was uh, to remember that in her alleyway when her mare's up tight. Freckles was real uptight when I watched her run Saturday and I said I need you thinking of the shape but I also need you thinking uh, remember Q, release the Q, Q, release the Q. Because she got kind of harsh. A little harsh, a little jerky. So I'm trying to feed that rhythm in there. Oh, good boy. Q, release the Q. See, I had a bunch of steps there. So Q. And now I'm going to speed it up. Don't lean inside. All of it left. Don't lean inside. Shit left the Are right, you ready to try it? Shoulders up now. Go back to the shoulders over the hips. And give your leg cue right behind the girth, the bump bump. Toes up as you do it. Lift the toes, drop the heel a little. To yeah, good. Good rhythm. Doesn't look, close your fingers on the rein and remember to lift so you don't restrict the forward motion, okay? Good. Eyes above his ears, straight out ahead. Looking good. You alright? You don't think he feels he feels different to you than normal? Well, why, watch his, watch his he well he always does so. Okay. So I mean he's he's just, that's what I was talking about is how he's built and he comes up under himself and then you take the age factor twenty three something years old just don't bury up shoulder up good toes up. Don't hold on with the ankle. Release the ankle. Use your upper. Use your rhythm. Good. Shoulders up. Don't rear back. Sit straight up. Good. And booty, booty, booty. 